Hello everyone and welcome back to our next um, class assembly here on our uh, remote learning channel. Um, our class assembly this week is going to be on National Storytelling Week, which some of you might already know a little bit about because Miss Sal has talked about it. I uploaded a story yesterday for you to have a little watch of um, and we're going to learn a little bit more about it today. So I'm going to share my screen so we can work through it together. There we go. Um, and National Storytelling Week is from the 30th of January to the 6th of February this year, which is this week. And it is a week where we celebrate storytelling and encourage people to tell their own stories. It takes place in lots and lots of places. And it can be in storytelling clubs, in theatres, in museums, schools, hospitals, and many other places too. So, the focus of National Storytelling Week is obviously stories. What are stories? Let's delve into that question a little bit more. What do you think stories are? Are stories always written down? Why do you think we tell stories? Have a think about those questions to yourself maybe. Just see if you can get an answer for each of one of, each one of those in your head. So for me, stories are us telling events that might have happened or events that could be fictional. And they don't always have to be written down because we can just tell them too. And I think who tells stories? Well, that could be anyone at all. It could be me, it could be you, it could be friends, it could be family, lots and lots of people could tell stories. Have a think as well, what are your favourite stories? Do you have any particular stories that really stand out to you that you absolutely love? For me, I think it's got to be the Harry Potter stories. They're stories that I could listen to again and again and I wouldn't get bored of. Um, maybe you agree, maybe you've got your own stories that you particularly enjoy. And why do we tell stories? So people have used stories for thousands of years to communicate. We tell stories every day. We tell stories about what we've been doing at school, stories about funny or scary things that have happened to us, or even stories about what we've seen on TV. So it could be something as simple as um, sharing a story about a TV show that you've really enjoyed watching and you're just telling your friends about it. Many stories we know have been told for hundreds of years. So fairy tales and myths were told by people long before they were written down in books. And everyone can be a storyteller. And stories are obviously really important, otherwise we wouldn't tell them on a daily basis and we wouldn't have this week to celebrate them. So storytelling helps people to feel close to each other and to become friends. Storytelling helps people to understand the things that happen in the world. Stories can teach us a lesson, which is sometimes called a moral. They can be warnings, they can be funny, um, sometimes scary, or they can even explain things to us. Uh, they can be fairy tales, they can be myths, and most importantly for me, storytelling is a fun thing to do. It's a fun thing to listen to as well. Um, and because it's National Storytelling Week, I want to finish today by sharing a story that um, some of you, if you're in year three order, you might have seen this book. It's called The Three Robbers. It's another one of my favorites. So we're going to have a quick listen to that one. Once upon a time, there were three fierce robbers. They all went about hidden under large black capes and tall black hats. You can see the hats and you can see the capes just here. The first one had a blunderbuss, the second had a pepper blower, and the third had a huge red axe. And again, you can see each of those here. In the dark of night, they walked the roads, searching for victims. They terrified everyone. Women fainted, brave men ran, dogs fled. To stop carriages, the robbers blew pepper in the horse's eyes. With the axe, they smashed the carriage wheels. And with the blunderbuss, they threatened passengers and plundered them. Some not very nice people, these three robbers. The robbers' hideout was a cave high up in the mountains. There, they carried their loot. Loot is another word for treasure. And you can see them carrying their treasure up to their hideouts. They had trunks and chests full of gold, jewels, money, watches, wedding rings and precious stones. 
but one bitter black night, the robbers stopped a carriage that had one that had but one passenger, an orphan named Tiffany. She was on her way to live with her wicked aunt. Tiffany was delighted to meet the robbers. Since there was no treasure apart from Tiffany, the thieves bundled her into a warm cape and carried her away. I wonder what they'll do. They made up a soft bed for her in a corner of the cave and there she slept. The next morning she awoke to find herself surrounded by trunks of glittering riches. What is this all this for? she asked. The robbers choked and sputtered. They had never thought of spending their wealth. They set off and gathered up all lost and unhappy and abandoned children they could find and they bought a beautiful castle where they all could live. So that's how they spent their money. Dressed in red caps and capes, the children moved into their new houses. Stories of the castle spread throughout the land. New children came or were brought each day to the doorsteps of the three robbers. The children grew up until they were old enough to marry. Then they built houses around the castle. A village grew up full of people dressed in red caps and capes. These people, people built three tall, high roofed towers, one for each of the robbers. And you can see them here. They look a bit like their hats that they were wearing at the beginning of the story. And that's the end. So you can see that story probably teaches us a little bit of a lesson that if we start showing kindness to other people, the good things can happen to those people too. And the story that's perhaps the moral is to show kindness to each other. Thank you for joining today, Year 3. I hope you enjoyed listening to the story and I hope you've learned something about National Storytelling Week. Um, hopefully you seize the opportunity to tell a story yourself. It'd be wonderful to hear about that if we can as well. Thanks for joining. See you next time.